become a caregiver and make sure you get a patient with dementia. That way she can't remember what happened the night before. Give yourself about an hour at a time. And you need to be screaming for help louder than she's screaming for help. And go take a sh right next to her dog. This is where the fear comes into play. This way the neighbors will hear you and they'll testify for you in court. You need to make the bitch try crystal. She'll start to lose her friends and her family. Got a Stephen A. Smith this bitch. I need you to grab your balls. Grab them on each side. Boom, boom. That's gonna make your nut indestructible. And then he looking at you like, I guess it's just us now. <laughs> Alright y'all, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's Matt back with another video, bro. We got a highly requested Life and Scars Zoom trolling video again. If you haven't seen the first two videos I did of these, be sure to check them out. They're on my channel right now. And this video is compiled of the moments I didn't get to finish and put into those videos. So this basically completes a trilogy. Be sure to drop a like on the video, comment down below your favorite timestamp, and subscribe if you want to see more Zoom trolling. And if you want to see more Life and Scars content, you can subscribe to him, link in the description. We just hit 600k, so thank you guys so, so much. Our community is growing so fast. And we have a Discord server, link in the description. If you want to connect with me, I talk to y'all every day in there as I make new videos. And if you want to post my content on other platforms, you're welcome to do so as long as you credit me. And without further ado, let's get to the video, bro. <sighs> what would theoretically happen if the exact opposite approach went into action? And I, I'm not quite done with that, but I can see where that is going. How to yeah. take a shit at a bitch crib. Look, guys, whenever you're at a bitch crib and your stomach start hating on you, you should probably just get the fuck out of there. Tell her you need to go to the store because you got a headache. If she says she got Tylenol, you only take ibuprofen. If she says she got ibuprofen, you only take Tylenol. But what if you stuck in her crib? Well, tell her you got something in your eye. And then go to the bathroom and turn the water up real high and turn the fan on. And then I want you to grab some toilet paper and I want you to put it into the toilet water. Now this gonna make it where she can't hear your sh when it hit the water. Now go ahead and drop a deuce. When you're done, I need you to post the lid on the toilet before you flush it. And then you're gonna need to peek back in there to make sure you ain't left no smears or souvenirs. Or if you don't wanna do that and she got a dog, wait till she walk out the room and go take a sh right next to her dog. When she come back in the room, let that bitch know what Charlie did. Game is game. He should be banished and reported to me. Okay, I got him. Shorty said I need to be Finish. The best job is to be a pervert. Well, a window okay, cleaner. If you see something you like while you're cleaning the window, clean that same spot over and over until you're ready to go. Or a personal trainer. You can make bitches do anything. You can be like, bitch, touch your toes for a half an hour. Or a gynecologist. You don't have to wear gloves. Or a dentist. If a bad bitch came into my office and got put to sleep okay. with her mouth wide open, I don't know. Or a preacher. Just like the dentist. If I can lay my hand on your head and make you pass out and nobody's around to see it, I don't know. Or a prison guard at a female prison. Bitches out here want everything. Bitches in prison want anything. Or become a caregiver. And make sure you get a patient with dementia. That way she can't remember what happened the night before. Game is game. Visitor or uh, and are, are you a female no. visitor? No pizza. Hammer or whatever. When it comes to books like these, like how to yes. turn a housewife into a hoe. Oh, Guys, no. look, bitches who sell oh, pussy do it because of oh, two reasons: oh, oh, depression no. Oh, no. and fear. Sorry, y'all. You gotta turn a bad bitch uh, to a sad oh, no. bitch. And how do you do that? Not, well, do constant we gaslighting, being unappreciative, and a lack of compliments right. should be the perfect <laughs> ingredients until she have a death in the family, and then she'll start to spiral out of control. But you need to provide her an escape. And what's that escape? You need to make the bitch try crystal. And once she get hooked on it, she'll start to lose her friends and her family. And at this point, she'll want to try even more of it. But you gotta cut her off and make her pay for her own addiction. This is where the fear comes into play. She'll do whatever it takes to get another hit. And that's when you need to let her know how much bread she can make out here on the streets. Guys, even if the bitch had a job before all this, she probably lost it by now. Now she works for you. She sucked dick now. Game is game. All right, where do we uh, get rid of this fellow? <laughs> he needs to work on his grammar soon. You mean grammar? He's just trying to get some neck. Hello. How to Mike Vick a bitch? Guys, the Mike Vick is a level three sex move. So consent is unenforced. Now all you need is some peanut butter, some handcuffs, a dog, a cage, and a bitch who trusts. You don't mind losing. So go ahead and put the dog in the cage, and then handcuff this bitch hands to the headboard, and then. My when you're done, at. I want you to grab some peanut butter and I want you to slap it on her pussy. And then I want you to get dressed and get ready to leave. She might ask you to unhandcuff her. Uh-uh. Go ahead and let the dog out the cage and eventually he'll make his way to the bedroom where he smelled the peanut butter. What happens after that is beyond your control. Just try to make sure you leave her a plan B pill and a Ray B pill. Game I game. don't know. What do you think, Vanessa? Sh should we get rid of this guy or what? <laughs> I think I want to laugh. Probably. 
Oh, I'm an email? It asked for a password. So oh, maybe Lawrence is running into that problem. How the f your stepmom? Well, the first way is the journal method. If you live with your stepmom, then you need to buy a notebook. In that notebook, I want you to write down all the filthy sh you want to do to your stepmom and how it keeps you up at night just thinking about the bitch. And then I want you to keep it on that page and I want you to hide it in a place in your room where she can still find it when she's at home alone. Trust me, you'll know when she find out. Number two is the pain method. This would insinuate that you got some kind of injury or some kind of soreness. For example, complain about your left shoulder. Complain about that bitch a lot too. She might offer to give you a massage. If she do, accept it. And in return, offer to give her one back, but better. Number three is the cancellation method. Daddies be busy as shit. So let's say your step parents might have had a date and your dad canceled out or he just got too busy. Offer to treat your mom out and step up to the plate since pops can't do it. It might sound evil. But you can't rule the world without ruling your own household. Game is game. <laughs> the other girl left and then she kicked me. Now she's all alone. Of how uh, Russia was uh, uh, turning uh, to uh, century. You know why you ain't getting no pussy? You doing a lot of the same shit that these females are doing. Bro, you might be hypergamous than a motherfucker. You could be ugly as fuck. I refuse to believe that y'all out here putting y'all fucking profile on these dating sites and y'all ain't getting out one or two, three, four matches or nothing. <laughs> Bruh, one out of three men out here ain't fucking right now. Huh? And that's a problem. Cause y'all gonna jack y'all dick till it bleed. And um... Yo, Sam's like, what the fuck? Some of these women that who y'all match with and y'all ain't talking to, who could be out of shape, maybe old, ugly. I don't give a fuck what's wrong with them. Break and smell like a fucking boxing glove. Y'all gotta start fucking something. You gotta stop fucking these women. I need you to reevaluate yourself. At the end of the day, pussy ain't got no face. Go get your dick wet. What? You can't need to boot somebody. Alright, I'm gonna step by myself, bro, because they just completely halted for like 30 seconds. So much resistance, you know. Um, I, I started looking online and saying, well, who in New York is out there? <laughs> How to talk to depressed bitches. Guys, you ever come across a bitch who just sad all the time? Well, what you don't want to do is try to get on her level of depression. But you do have to fake it at first just to find out the source of her depression. And then turn that shit off. Now it's time to get this bitch some hope. Is she mad about some kind of tragic event? Go ahead and feed her that bullshit line about how she deserves better. But don't dwell on it, because that bitch probably don't deserve shit. But blaming somebody else for her circumstance is all she want to hear right now. Okay, also, so don't disagree with depressed bitches. Even if you feel like they being hard okay, on themselves, help. being understanding will get you way more pussy than trying to be convincing. Game is game. How to do the back win with your nutsack. Fellas, there's two ways you can do this. One with hands, one without hands. And you should learn this because you got a lot of dick trick moves, but not enough moves you can do with your nuts. So listen, the first step is with your hands. I need you to grab your balls, grab them on each side. Boom, boom. Don't grab a testicle though. Yeah, it's gonna be rolling on the floor. When you grab your skin, I want you to stretch it out slowly. Pull that shit apart yeah, until really the residual is When you get rid if you pull of it out far enough, you, you should see the veins in the middle of your nuts and skin, uh, and it's gonna resemble a yeah. back wing. Yeah. The other way you can try this is the no hands method. You yeah, can try it right now. I don't know if you're standing up or sitting down, room? but what I want you to do is slowly yeah, but surely pull your legs apart and see if your ball sack stick to your inner thighs. If it stick on both sides, you can create a back wing without even touching your nuts. This is a, uh, or a group discussion, I should say, around the part three of the How to Change Your Mind series. Does that sound good? Try the steam engine a bitch. Y'all, the steam engine is a sex move. It requires five things. You're gonna need a four-door sedan, something to smoke, a bitch, some duct tape, and permission. That might be the most important. How you do this is that you get whoever you're gonna fuck in the back seat, and I need you to fuck huh? doggy style. Make sure that their head is facing the window. Okay. Them, now, at this point, I need all the windows in the car to be up because no, you want the inside of the car to get hot. Fuck, so, f*** them hard. Now, when the inside of the car get unbearably hot, I need you to roll down that back window. That's the one where their head is facing. They immediately should stick their head out of the window to get a breath of fresh air. And you immediately need to roll the window back up around their neck. Not enough to choke them, just to the point where they can't stick their head back in the car. Then you pull your dick out, you walk around the side of the car where their head is sticking out, light up something to smoke, stick it in their mouth, Duct tape it around their mouth. Get back in the car and continue fucking them. Every time you hit it from the back, they're gonna blow smoke out their nose. Choo choo, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead and kick him out. Yeah, what the heck was that? <laughs> Go to, I don't know, participants, I think. Try that. <laughs>
<risa> eh, lo segundo, identificar sentimientos y necesidades. Que a veces... Fuck your teacher. Guys, the number one quality you need to fuck your oh. teacher is being the quiet type. She need to know that you can keep a secret una... because she risking everything. She risks losing her job, possibly getting a divorce, oh. and this bitch can go to prison. So you gotta make that dick worth it. Oh. Now, teachers who f*** their students normally look for two qualities. Intelligence and the lost soul. You can make yourself seem a lot smarter just by learning a word a day over the next 60 days. Gotta Stephen A. Smith this bitch. Now, how do you make yourself seem like a lost soul? You gonna have to get some one-on-ones with her and talk to her shit about shit that ain't got nothing to do with class. Present yourself as a dude that had a string of bad relationships or a troubled life. If you ain't never had that shit, fucking create it. She either naturally is gonna want to pay you back in lectures or pussy. Game is game. <laughs> I don't know how to kick these people. Sorry about that, y'all. Hold on. I'm uh, I'm writing a story called Heroes of Exile, which is uh, based around a, a superhero who is yeah, yeah, not a Spider-Man, a bitch. Hey y'all, the Spider-Man is a sex move. So as always, assume that you have consent. Oh, so it go it. like this: for about 30 days, you can't fuck nobody, you can't jack your dick. I need you to work out, eat a lot of fruits, and stay hydrated. That's gonna make your nut indestructible. Now when it's time for you to fuck somebody, right before oh. you finish, I want you to pull your dick out and I want you to nut it in the palm of your hand. Try to keep it all in the center. And I want you to pull your middle finger up and your ring finger up. And I want you to slam it down in the palm of your hand. If you apply enough pressure, it should make the nut shoot out and stick to the other person while the other end is still attached to your hand. Pull that person to you closer and closer until they respect you. Hey, uh -oh. we Peter Parker Aaron. bitches. We ain't playing. Aaron. Game is game. Wow. Did we just get Zoom bombed? I think so. I'm sorry, couldn't hear you. My my AC was blasting. Two questions. What's your overall vibration and where are you at on your level of confidence with your intuitive tarot reading abilities? It's How a fuck a bitch and get away with it. Guys, look, in most countries, it's best that you go ahead and ask for consent before you fuck a bitch. When you fuck a bitch, open up the window and you need to be screaming for help louder than she's screaming for help. Say shit <laughs> like, no, stop, get off my <laughs> I'm begging you. This way the neighbors will hear you and they'll testify for you in court. Or have somebody threaten you. Have somebody send you a message and say, look, if you don't fuck Chloe within 24 hours, I'm fucking you up and your family up. And then say you fuck the bitch in self-defense. Or after you fuck the bitch, sodomize yourself and call the cops. That way it make it look like you was the victim. Game is game. What? What the hell? <laughs> Education. So it's quite immersive as you go along. So we have these amazing 180 degree panorama lounges. We love the concept. How the sick woman? Look, y'all, flu season is here. And a lot of y'all got live in wives and girlfriends, and I just need you to know that they ass gonna get sick. Okay. But you still gonna wanna fuck them, right? Sorry so what about I suggest that. you do is pregame that pussy. Give yourself that? about an hour at a time. <laughs> During this hour, go ahead and feed and hydrate your bitch. And make uh, her take her medicine, then make her ass go lay down. Now, once that hour pass, that's when you walk in, try to get some ass. Hopefully she grateful enough to give you some. If not, just walk away. That bitch ungrateful. If she do decide to give you some ass, do not move her around too much. Remember that she's sick. Just crawl in the bed and fuck her in whatever position she laying in. She laying on her Sir, back, you... crawl on top of her. Oh, okay. Christian, she laying on her stomach, Christian, crawl on her back. Christian, you have to stop. If she laying in that fetal stop position, your... fetal fuck the bitch. Christian, you have to come off. <laughs> but uh, as I would say, we'll we'll chat for about ten minutes or so, and then we'll go into our quiet reading for about an hour and a half, where we'll chat. How to f that bitch on the first date, guys? This right here is called the adventure okay. method, and basically, uh, okay, all you need to do is invite a bitch out to a nice bar for a drink or two. Be ready to leave in about forty-five minutes to an hour. Invite her out to another bar, and then invite her out to a third bar. If you have fun at all three locations, it is psychologically registered that you're fucking safe to travel with. Also, it'll make you look unpredictable, adventurous, and spontaneous. All sh** that bitches love. Plus, you dragging the night out. Now, the fourth step would be to invite her back to your crib to keep the fun going. Or what these bitches like to call vibes. Regardless, if you get her back to your crib at the midnight, you got that pussy in the bag. Game is game. Can you, can you hear us? Oh my goodness, here come another new person. All right, this is great. We are growing. That's that energy that you put out there. Yes, Christian welcome. Watson. Yep, welcome Christian and welcome Karen. How to not get fucked in the ass. Well, don't go to prison, especially for my guys under the age of 30. <laughs> Because to most inmates, your ass is still beautiful. And 
Don't try new drugs for guys you don't know. This is for my guys in college. Not unless you want to wake up with internal bleeding and a torn rectum. And don't try male, male, female threesomes with people you don't know that well. They'll try to trick you. Everything will be all good until the bitch wind up leaving the room. And then he looking at you like, I guess it's just us now. And after a breakup, do not confide in suspect ass niggas because they'll try to convert you. They'll say shit like, I don't know why you still fing with these no good well, bitches anyway. You, and then they'll try to attack you with their penis okay, when you least suspect them. <laughs> Look, for all my gay guys out there, you do you. To all my straight guys out there, I'm trying to keep them from doing you. Game is game. There he is. He's gone. Let's take a deep breath, everyone. It's definitely. And release. When you take a deep breath, you're releasing everything and anything that can disturb you. So she just start the meditation just like that? <laughs> Five minutes later. And we're about to take a nice deep breath. And release it. And release. How to turn a bitch into Drake. Oh. Y'all, the Drake is a sex move. It's gonna require a few things. You're gonna need a crown or a bag, some pubic hairs, a bitch, a set, and a group of friends with some cameras. So I need you to prepare for this by shaving your dick and putting the pubic hairs into a crown or a bag. Save it for the finale. Now, wherever you f*** this bitch, I need you to have your friends hiding somewhere nearby. Right before you about to nut, I want you to pull your dick out and I want you to nut around her right eyebrow. Move over to the left eyebrow. Do the same thing. Then reach into your crown royal bag. Grab the pubes. Dash them in that bitch face. And then she's gonna look just like Drizzy. Then I need you to signal your friends to come in and start taking pictures like the fucking paparazzi. You pose. If you can pull this shit off, it was God's plan. Game is game. I attempted to kick. Sorry, Lester. I attempted to kick. I kicked Lewis out. Because he's the unknown person. <laughs> she here. kicked the other dude. Subscribe.